Well, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who rule well, and peace and safety to the brothers across the four corners of the earth, especially not this truth and putting their lives on the line to do so. All right, it's the brother Rock uh, coming back at you with a lesson um, that I wanted to go into about knowing who your enemy are, okay, uh, which is a very important thing, okay. Because if you don't know who your enemy are, how do you know, you know, who your adversary is or, you know, who, who you're fighting or going against? OK. All right. And this is a quick quote uh, off of Google. Uh, it says, if you know your enemies and know yourself, you can win hundreds of battles without a single loss. OK. But if you only know yourself, but not your opponent, you may win or lose. If you know neither your if you know neither yourself nor your enemy, you will always endanger yourself. Okay. Now that's a good quote because uh, it's saying uh, if you don't know who you are as a person or your enemy, you know you're pretty much up shit creek. Okay. Um, and, and knowing who you are, you know. Uh, you are God's chosen people. If you are um, Latino, uh, Negro, or Native American, okay, uh, you go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. So that's one fundamental, you know, of, of knowing or how to defeat your opponent or your enemy or knowing who your enemy is. You got to know who you are first and foremost, okay? Um, and the second part that you got to know your enemy as well, okay? Okay. Uh, because if you don't know who your enemy are, you're blind to the fact that everything that's going on, you're not being sober or vigilant, okay? Because you got to know who to watch for and, you know, uh, who, who who's your adversary, like I said, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to uh, pull a quick scripture real quick. Um, this is... Um, Ecclesiasticus uh, 10 and 12. It's a lot. It's, uh, 12 and 10. Ecclesiasticus uh, 12 and 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like an iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay? It says never trust your enemy. So in order to never trust your enemy, you got to what? You got to know who your enemy is. Okay. Which is Esau. Okay. Edomites. So-called white people today. All right. That, that's that's your enemy according to the scriptures. Okay. Going back to the time of Jacob and Esau. Okay. Um, and it says... For I, for like as I am rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay, and it's in, you know, the the devil to do wickedness. Okay, they go wicked from the womb. Okay, uh, roughly paraphrasing, the strange are wicked from the womb. Okay, so like I was saying, you know, you can't be out here, you know, in the world not knowing, you know, who your actual enemy is and call yourself. You know, being a man of the Lord, because, uh, like I said, you're not walking sober and you're not being vigilant. OK. Which the scriptures also tell you to be. All right. Matter of fact, I pull that too. Just. Uh, First Peter This is uh First Peter chapter five verse eight and it says be sober, okay, be vigilant, okay. Let's get those words. That word sober. 
to be sober uh, is not affected. Okay, clean headed. Let's see what else we got. Clear headed. It's a lot to be clear headed to be sober. Um, absence or dry. Okay, and you you got to have a clear head. Okay, and, and these people out here nowadays, you know, they're not being sober to the times. Cause if they were, okay, and if they had a clear mind. They'll, they'll, they'll be watching prophecies, okay, as we are, and seeing them uh, unfold right before their eyes. But but these people are not uh, walking uh, in soberness, okay? They're, they're in a deep sleep. They're in drunkenness, okay? They're drunk off the wine of America, okay? Uh, they're, 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 they're worried about, you know, the Super Bowl and, you know, what celebrity did this, what celebrity did that, okay? Okay. Uh, and all kind of bullshit, you know, that, that the media and, and and the government is pushing out here to keep you people uh, asleep, okay? And then and in a state of uh slumberness, okay. Uh and where was I? I was at uh first Peter's five and eight. It says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, okay. Your adversary. And, and what is your adversary? Let's get the word adversary. Okay. The word adversary is uh, one's opponent in a contest, conflict, or dispute. Okay. And some words that are synonymous with adversary. Uh, opponent, rival, enemy, uh, combatant, challenger, contender, competitor. Okay. That's the word adversary, okay? Now the scripture says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, okay? Now who's the devil? The so-called white man, okay? Because all that word devil means is a deceiver, and the white man is the ultimate deceiver. He He's so good at deception that, you know, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't even know who you are anymore, Okay? That's the ultimate uh, deception, and uh, the 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 uh, covering the faces of the judges, okay, which they did with Yahweh Shai by uh, covering his face, you know, uh, with Chesra uh, Chesra Caesar Borgir, okay, sweet baby Jesus, okay, with the long hair and blue eyes, that our people still, you know, uh, refer to as the Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Which his really name is Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay? Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And that's what this so called white man is doing. He's so strategic and, and, and has everything planned out to a T, and he's just waiting to pounce, man, like a lion, and devour you, okay? Those of you that are not walking soberly and vigilantly, okay, not being circumspect, you just out here bullshitting and blindly, you know, following the customs of America. All right. Um, you know, so, so, you know, you got to know who your enemy are. You got that's very key. Okay. And, and, and do when you find out who your enemy is. Do you, uh, you know, uh, partake and, and be joined hand in hand with your enemy? No. All right. Do you see, uh, uh, give for an example, do you see a, a vicious dog with a cat? Do you see a cat and a dog hanging out? No. Dogs are with dogs, cats are with cats, okay? And, and yes, the Lord deals with division, okay? Most... There's a lot of scriptures in the Bible that tell you um, about the vision, okay? So the Lord dealt with the vision, yes, okay? Especially his people, okay? We, we're separated from all the other. You know, we're put on the pedestal, so to speak, okay? Matter of fact, uh, so, so once you find out who your enemy is, you know, it, it's, it's, I would advise you to go ahead and separate yourself from 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 your enemy, which is a so-called white man. OK, 
because you don't want to be found joined hand in hand with this white man when the Lord brings his wrath upon this place, okay? Because you're going to be taken down with it, okay? You're going to be devoured with this place, all right? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword, okay? So if you're um, joined unto with your enemy, you know, you, you're going to get, you know, their judgment that they have coming to them as well, okay? Because you're joined unto this person, okay? Verse 16, their, their children also shall be dashed to pieces, okay? Before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged, which that word ravaged means to be taken by force, okay? So, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's very important to know who your enemy is uh, in this day, okay? I'm going to read that, uh, that quote one more time because that quote uh, makes perfect sense, okay? It says, if you know your enemy and know yourself, you can win hundreds of battles without a single loss, okay? Which knowing yourself is if you're a Latino, uh, Native American, or Negro, so-called, you go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. You are God's chosen people. You have to know that, okay? And know your enemies. And if you know yourself, you win hundreds of battles without a single loss. If you only know yourself, which is meaning that you know you're Israelite, you know that your line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but you don't know your opponent, meaning you don't know who your enemy is, your adversary, which is the so-called white man, then you may win or lose. So you have an opportunity. It's like a 50-50 chance, okay, uh, of, of, of you losing, okay? But the quote says, if you know neither yourself nor your enemy, you will always fail, okay? Always. So it's very important, you know, to, to know who your enemy is. You know, I can't stress that enough. All right. You know, that's all I had on that. But, you know, the spirit hit me to go ahead and go into that. All right. So hopefully a brother or two is edified. You know, want to uh, give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. And again, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Shalom.